Hey, have you heard of the concept burden on work? Not burden of work, not burden at work. Burden on work. I had this conversation with Disha Barve, my counselor friend, and we speak about how we tend to burden our work and also share three tools that can help you unburden it. So let's get started. Hi everybody, I'm Disha Barkin. I'm the founder director of Tara Counseling in Pune. I'm a counselor and coach, and I specialize in young adults, adults and senior citizens. So a lot of us are busy creating a career for ourselves. We want to study so that we get employed, right? Yeah. Uh, but this work then becomes uh, much more than just work. What truly is work? I want you all to think about this for just like maybe five seconds. What really is the function of your employment? Seriously, five seconds. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. what is the function of your employment? So the function of anybody's employment is sustenance, isn't it? Mm. Um, getting whatever is the, the instrument of sustenance in your time. So right now it's money. money. Employment is a means to get sustenance in, in exchange for your services, whatever the service may be. So that's really what it is. And somehow we are so busy loading work with God knows what all our expectations are from that work that we forget that its primary job is just to give us sustenance. So when I say put all kinds of burden, what am I talking about? So tell me, isn't it necessary for most of us that I make or I have friends at work? I'm sure most of us want friends at work. Not a bad thing to want, I'm just putting it out there. Mm. You want friends at work. Yeah. yeah. You want to do well at work so that you are mm appreciated or you are uh, you know, given credit or you are uh, given that honor yeah so you are looking for that appreciation from work mm -hmm. then what else are you looking for from work opportunities to travel opportunities to live in nice places again everything has to come from work, from work yeah uh, then we are there are people today who are looking for spouses at work really mm -hmm. uh, we are looking for meaningful relationships at work yeah we want mm -hmm. uh, we want our sense of self-esteem to come from work. We want our self-confidence to be developed at work. We want our um, seniors to recognize our potential and give us the right opportunities and nurture our talents. Do you see what's happening here? We are now snowballing this work. Now we are making it into the be-all and end-all of our existence. Everything has to come from work. Mm. It's not a bad thing, but when it starts connecting to your sense of self and self-esteem, self-worth, self-confidence, everything, when it starts connecting these two things, then you're headed for trouble. The satisfaction, you'll be relying on them for satisfaction. Satisfaction, contentment, joy, things that are not necessarily going to be fulfilled by this one bucket where you're putting all the eggs. Correct. It's going to crash. Right. So on this topic, I want to tell you a very interesting thing. So I think this will help everybody. Most of us, every human being actually, has five basic requirements that need to be met. Safety, security, all put together. Love and belonging, power, fun, freedom. Now see, are you expecting all five from your workplace? How fair is this? These five are supposed to be spread across all the various aspects of your life. Right. Not one teeny tiny aspect of your life which is occupied by work. So what is uh, what is the alternative that you think uh, you know that they should do? You know, you First you must explore all aspects of your life. Where are you in all the aspects of your life? So what are the aspects of your life? Fine, career, fine, finance, connected, okay, health, mental and physical, right, family, friends, hobbies, right. If, it's, yeah, yeah, it's also, uh, isn't it also a mindset where uh, the moment you are not putting all your eggs in one basket, you have other avenues where you can explore and can sort of de-stress yourself, yes. then automatically that affects the 
how better or qualitative work you do at your at, work. Uh, so at the, work. the Sorry, productivity is so the way this uh, connects with productivity is that when you load it all eggs in one basket and that basket happens to be work then one you're heading towards a burnout second when it does have its uh, you know when, when when there is an issue in that area not only will that fall but it take you with it because you have not built any other anchors in your life mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So a lot of times, if I ask somebody, so tell me about yourself, and I'm sure you've experienced it too. They will tell me what they do. That's Correct. not who you are. You are much more than your label. I want to know about who you are, and who you are comes out in these other areas. One of the best tools to kind of get an idea of where you are and what you need to work on, and where you need to redistribute the eggs is like the life life feed. Yeah, which I think Aparna has already uh, taken in one of her earlier sessions. If you follow the life wheel, it's a fantastic tool. You can uh, revisit your life wheel every month, every three months, depending mm. on how frequently you want to revisit it to see how you're shifting, which areas of your life need your attention and nurturing. Because mm. otherwise, it's just one lopsided growth, and lopsided growths uh, are never pretty. Not you're not. You're not happy. End of the day, yeah. you're not going to be happy because now everything is loaded on one thing, and it's in danger of crashing and falling. So that's one thing. So the life field is a fantastic tool to to get an idea of where you are headed and what you need to work on. The second is big believer in journaling. <laughs> yeah, it's always good to journal. Um, you know, you can even uh, make. Uh, your journaling can be your stream of consciousness writing. You can even do a gratitude journal for about fifteen or twenty days. A gratitude journal brings you face to face with the fact that I have nothing apart from work that I'm referring to in this list. It's a great wake up call because sometimes things that you think are mm. part of your life and oh I am enjoying these they are not there. Mm. These are wake up calls. Sometimes you sit down to write ten things that I'm grateful for, and you are stuck after the first thing. Why are you stuck after the first thing if you have a full life? Correct. So another wonderful tool which you can make yourself is based on the five things that I talked about: right. security, love and belonging, power, fun, freedom. Write these five down. Okay. Once you've written these five down, score yourself on a scale of zero to ten mm. okay, as to how you feel in these departments. And also next to it, write where are you getting the score from? Which aspect of your life? Hmm. Okay. So if love and belonging, me all you can think of are your colleagues and your boss and your office building and the office garden. Red flag. Okay. Yeah. If power brings you to your desk and that's all it brings you to, red flag. If fun is about the team outing that you had, excellent. But if it's only the team outing, it's a red flag. Freedom. If you feel Oh, I have no freedom at work. I am doing the same thing that I am so stuck. Red flag because you are not exploring freedom, which is available to you in other aspects of your life. Mm. So you can pick up these five aspects and put a little scale, zero to ten, and then put down where are you getting that score in your life from at this point, mm. and then revisit it every time you do your life. You also revisit this little, uh, you know, right. uh, table and see how you can shift it from all work relations. Two, okay. Now my fun and freedom is coming from the garden that I go to, or my fun is coming from having a chat with my dad over the phone. That's fun, yes. by the way. It can be fun. Yes. Or uh, my, uh, you know, sense of power is coming from, let's say, something that I am doing myself every weekend. Mm. You know, which I am initiating, or I cook my breakfast every weekend. It's a fantastic thing. It's fun, freedom, power, love, and belonging all put together. Mm. Cooking is fantastic. So yeah, so like this, you can explore and see in these five aspects, which are, by the way, critical to any human being's sense of contentment and joy. In these five parameters, where have I overloaded it mm. on work, and mm. therefore I need to work. Yeah. That can help. I hope that information is valuable to you because we tend not to look at the way she has explained to us. If you like this video do hit a like button share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe to my channel subscribe and also hit a bell icon so you're notified every week when i post a new video thank you so very much for watching i'll see you next week next year with another brand new topic 
and series until then take good care of yourself a very happy new year to you bye bye